Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to Christmas in July. I'm in a collaboration with eight other channels. Uh, this was all put together by Jenny Goff and she's invited myself and seven other channels to do um, Christmas in July, sharing our recipes, sharing uh, decorating ideas, decorate uh, ornament making. Um, I think Jenny even did one last week getting planned for Christmas, which is really a good thing to do because when the holidays get here, it's going to be really, really busy and you're, we're just, we just can't keep up sometimes. But today I'm going to share a recipe. When I think of Christmas, I think of Christmas candy and Christmas cookies. And I think of more decadent things at Christmas time than regular cookies like, you know, peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip cookies. I like to bump it up a little bit, make it a little more decadent and make it more holiday-ish. Holiday ish is that what is that word? I think it was going to be a word today, but I'm going to be making a bourbon bacon butter pecan cookie, and we could throw all the ingredients together real easy. But I like to start out and you know bump up the ingredients just a little bit each one. So the pecans I'm going to make them butter pecans, and you're going to want them pretty well minced small. So I just use my little food processor processor here. Let me get it out of the way. And I've got two tablespoons of butter over here. And I'm just going to put the uh, pecans in there and I'm just gonna heat them up a little bit. We're gonna brown them and get them more buttery tasty. Let me get a good little spoon here. And you don't want this over a real high heat. I've got it about, well, my stuff it goes one to not, one to eight and then high. So I've got it on about four and a half, five. So we're just going to let these brown a little bit and that's what we're going to use in the cookies. So I'm going to let these sit here and just absorb that butter and baste in it and get all nice and golden. So the other ingredients we have, I'm going to list them all below. It's a lot easier that way. I can tell you we got flour, pecans, eggs, brown sugar, white sugar, butter, vanilla, bourbon. Bourbon is basic. You can, you can put it in or you don't have to put it in. It's not going to be real strong, but you're just going to get that little flavor of it. But if you want to leave it out, you, you know, you're more than welcome to, especially if you got kids. Bacon, I've got two or three strips of bacon here that I just fried up a little bit ago, crumbled them up. And in most recipes, most of my cookie recipes, I use like two, two uh, sticks of butter. This one, I use one stick of butter and I use half a block of cream cheese. Just makes it a little bit more richer. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those. Christmas is a time for all, just making memories, good food, family, and everybody getting together. I've got so many recipes that I've done and cooked with my granddaughters, my grandson. I didn't cook with him. He was just stealing the cookies. And that, I got to tell you a little story. That's, that's reminded me of me. Now, these are already nice and brown. I can smell the butter. I can smell the pecan. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm just going to set them aside. Like I was saying, my grandma Jean used to make chocolate chip cookies like every other weekend. And I'd drive my bicycle out to the farm and there was always chocolate chip cookies. Well, I used to like them a little too much. As soon as they would come out of the oven, I was in there grabbing them, eating them. I probably ate about five or 10, between five and 10, hot right out of the oven. My grandma kept saying, look, little boy, you better watch it. You're going to get sick. She was right. I got so sick from eating those hot cookies I didn't even eat a chocolate chip cookie for a year. Every time I looked at them, it just, I, I just couldn't do it. So fast forward, oh wow, 30 years. And I made chocolate chip cookies. I made Grandma Jean's chocolate chip cookies and I've got them sitting on the counter. And I'm gonna put a picture up here. My grandson's in there sneaking, getting the cookies. And I just started laughing because I could hear my grandma in the background, just in my head saying, watch out little boy, you're gonna get sick because he kept stealing them and running away. And it just reminded me when I was younger. So those are just memories you're gonna make at Christmas time with your kids and your grandkids. And those are ones they're gonna treasure, you're gonna treasure. So I always say, get your kids in the kitchen with you if they're young. If you have grandkids, get them in the kitchen with you because I have so many memories of my grand, being with my grandma, my aunts, my mom, everybody in the kitchen. And that's what makes the holiday specials because I'm bringing back those memories every time I'm cooking. So I've got the pecans set aside. I'm going to mix the dry ingredients with two and a half, I believe two and a half cups of flour. And I've got baking soda and baking powder in here. Like I said, I'll put the ingredients down below. Got about a teaspoon of salt and I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And I'm just gonna bring those together a little bit. The dry ingredients, 
so they're easier to mix in. They're already pre-mixed instead of putting them in the wet batter together. You don't want to mix each one into the wet batter because then you may get clumps of it in there and it's not mixed sufficiently throughout. So there we go. Now we're going to set that aside. And now we're going to brown the butter. Let me get it in my pan. Like I said, we're just going to bring everything up another notch, get the flavor profile higher, get more decadent, more flavorful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown one stick of butter and you're going to want to watch this. You're not gonna to wanna to do it on high and you're just gonna get it just so it's a little bit brown and it's starting foamy and bubbly on top. And as soon as you get there, take it off the heat because it will burn quickly. So let's get that started heating. And in, I'm gonna go ahead and get my half a cut or half a block of cream cheese. You saw my first Christmas in July recipe. It was a bread pudding, a caramel praline bread pudding. Like I said, at Christmas time for me, it's everything more decadent. Of course, I make the sugar cookies. I make um, the gingerbread cookies, things like that that are traditional that I've always made with my grandma and grandpa, or grandma and my mom and my aunt. But I like to come up with new recipes and just knock them up a notch, make them more decadent. So here is our cream cheese. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl. I would usually use my KitchenAid mixer back there, but I've had some of you complain that when I'm using it, it's too loud, you can't hear me. So I'm just gonna stick to the bowl and a wooden spoon like grandma used to do. Okay. Get this butter going. to get this started browning and as soon as it's brown I'll be right back. Okay so this has taken a few minutes and it, I just I don't like to rush it. I don't want to burn the butter. But if you can see there, if I can get some of the foam that's coming up to the top of the side, you can see there's little bits down in there of the bacon fat, or the bacon fat, that's over there. The uh, butter fat that's starting to brown in the bottom of the pan, and the actual butter is starting to turn like a golden brown, and that's what we want. You could have made this with just butter, but if you're bitten into a cookie or candy or something, wow, that extra flavor, that's what this is gonna do. Buttering and roasting these pecans and browning this butter, just gonna give you an extra bit of flavor in there that people aren't gonna expect. So once this has started to brown, and watch the bottom, you don't want them starting to turn black. You got your butter browned, take it off the heat so it stops cooking. And go ahead and put it, pour it in your, now make sure it's a heat, uh, heat resistant bowl that's not going to shatter. Get all of those bits in there because that's the brown butter that you want to taste throughout the cookie. So I get all that scraped in there. Let me set this over here. Okay, so I've got the brown butter in here. I'm going, and I've got the cream cheese, the half a cube of, or block of cream cheese. I'm going to add in both sugars. I got the white sugar and the brown sugar. Now, usually I make this, with dark brown sugar. I didn't have any dark brown sugar, so you can make it either way. If you wanted dark brown and you didn't have, you can just add a little bit of molasses to it because that's basically what brown sugar is. It's molasses and white sugar. So the more molasses you have in the uh, white sugar makes it either a light, sugar, light brown sugar or a dark brown sugar. So I'm just gonna cream these all together. Like I said, it'd probably be easier in the KitchenAid mixer, which is what I usually use. Hey, grandma and my great grandma and everybody, they didn't have those things. They used their hands, they used a wooden spoon, and they used a bowl. Good enough for them, good enough for me. So I'm just creaming this together till I see that the sugars mainly dissolve pretty much and combined in, and the cream cheese is pretty much not little pieces of white cream cheese anymore. Let's get that all stirred up. And 
And if you do have kids and grandkids, get them in the kitchen with you, not just at Christmas, but all year round. Like I said, you're gonna be making memories that you're gonna remember forever. I remember having Chloe, my second oldest granddaughter. Me and her have cooked up a storm when she was growing up. Every time I go to pick her up, first thing she said when she got in the car, Grandpa or Papa, what are we gonna make today? What are we gonna make all weekend? And that's just something she's still to this day. I say something about something we made and she remembers it. So she has that memory too. So, okay, I've got it all pretty well combined. You can see little bits of brown in there. That's the brown butter. So now I'm going to add in three tablespoons of bourbon, which I told you is optional. In my house, it's not. And maybe a little bit more. You don't want to overdo it though, because baking is a science. If you get too much liquid, not enough flour, the dry, everything mixed up, it's not going to cook correctly. It's not like regular cooking when you're baking. It is a science. So make sure you always go by the ingredients and the amounts. So I'm gonna combine that. And then I'm going to add in the eggs one at a time. I like to get them completely mixed in before I add in the next one. I always feel like I'm doing a hula hoop when I stir. My whole body shakes. Is that not my, does that happen to you guys? Don't lie, we know it does. Okay. Put in the other egg. And there goes my hula hoop dance. Chloe calls it the hula hoop dance. She teases me and says I look like I'm doing the hula hoop when I'm stirring. All right. Now we're gonna put in the dry ingredients, which is the flour, the salt, the baking powder, and baking soda. And I like to just add a little bit at a time, get it combined, put it all in. It's gonna cake up and clump up and go all over the place like I just did. But I thank Jenny Goff so much for doing this. Actually, July, you need to start making plans for Christmas. I know it's the middle of the summer and you're not thinking Christmas, but a lot of homemade gifts that I like to do, I like to make homemade vanilla. You need to start that now. It's, it's gonna have to sit for a while. So it's nice and um, mixed in. If you get do it right before Christmas, you're just gonna have vodka or whatever you're mixing it with and the beans in there. And that, that's just not gonna go good. You wanna do jams and jellies. This is a lot of things you can do ahead of time. They come Christmas, you don't have to worry about doing them. You got more time to do everything else. Oops. Now, once we get this all combined, since I melted the butter, I like to put it in the refrigerator and let the batter sit three to four hours. You want that butter to thicken back up because if you don't, when you put it in the oven and it's like this, they're just going to go all over the place. You want it thicker so they stay in place. I'm just gonna put the rest of that in there. So refrigerate the dough and it'll, it'll nice cookies instead of spreading out. Also, if you wanna do this now, but you don't want to bake them, you can get those all ready for Christmas. Bring this all together make it into the little balls after you refrigerate it, bring it out, make it into the little balls, freeze them on a cookie sheet, and then once they're frozen, take them off and put them in a plastic bag. That way when Christmas comes, you just pop them out, they're all ready to go. All you have to do is bake them. And they'll last in the freezer for three to six months. So you're, it's plenty of time for Christmas to go ahead and do it now. You can do that with any of your cookies. Always go ahead and plan ahead. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my bacon and I'm going to put in, oops, get this here. I started to grab those pecans. These pecans are for the top. I'll show you what we're gonna do with those in a minute. We'll decorate with that. That's still, oh, that's still a little warm. So now we'll put in our pecans. Just another layer of flavor. You could have used just plain pecans. You didn't have to toast them. And butter, but this is going to add that extra flavor, make it a little bit more decadent. Just going to incorporate all that. You're not going to believe the flavor, the textures that this cookie is going to give you. I can already smell the butter pecan. It smells like butter pecan ice cream. It smells delicious. Okay, so I got this all combined. Try to get all that white flour out of there. So I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it sit in there for about three to four hours. Get a good spatula here. And just let it come back together, the butter harden, so it's not all melted. 
and it's just gonna give us a better cookie when we bake it. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll be back in about three to four hours, but for you, it's gonna be just a second. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, like I said, it's just gonna be a second for you. So let me get the cookie dough out of the refrigerator. It's set up pretty stiff now. Let me show you here. Nice and stiff. Now I'm gonna dip this out, but each time I put one tray at a time into the oven, I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator so it stays nice and cool. Okay, so I've already got my silk mat on here. You can use parchment paper to spray with some baking spray. I like using these. And I've got a small size cookie scoop that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna round these off. And you, I use a cookie scoop, so all of them are always the same size. And they're gonna bake at the same rate, so you're not gonna have some that are done and some that are a little doughy on the inside. And for, I left this out because some of you are going to tell me, just like you did the last time I used it, that this is not bourbon. No, this isn't. This is whiskey. But bourbon and whiskey are close to the same. Bourbons, no reason they call bourbons. It has to come from a certain area in Kentucky. Um, I drink whiskey mainly, Jack Daniels, and then Johnny Walker. But you can use whiskey or bourbon. It's going to give you the same flavor. But I just want to let you know now, because I know you're going to yell at me down in the comments, all of you from Kentucky, that that's not bourbon. I know it's not. So let me get these all out and get them evenly. I'm just going to do four rows of three each. Like I said, I'm in no hurry with these. I want these to be good. This, these are my Christmas cookies, so I want to make sure that they all look good, they taste good, and they all look about the same. There. I've already got the oven turned on. It's heating to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake them for about 12 minutes. Now when you take them out, if pieces of them are going a little bit further, spread out a little bit more, you can use a spatula and just kind of reshape them. Sometimes I've done that. They didn't look exactly as pretty as I'd like. So now that I've got them all on the tray, I'm going to take my pecans that I showed you earlier. Just whole pecan halves and I'm just going to press them down a little bit into the cookie and as it bakes that's going to the cookie will spread out and this will be hopefully centered pretty much in the middle this is just an extra touch to make them look a little bit more decadent for the holidays and pecans are pretty synonymous in the south with Christmas or special nut that we use a lot in our baking down here even though I'm in Florida, my family's from Kentucky and Tennessee, so that's where I get my southern roots. So I've got them all in there. So it looks like, actually it looks like little fudge balls with pecans on top. So I'm gonna put these in the oven, I'm gonna bake them for 12 minutes, and then I'll be back and show you what they look like. Okay, y'all, we're back. I did get the cookie dough out, usually around three minutes remaining on the timer. I'll get out the cookie dough and I'll set the next tray so it's ready to go. And these are just about ready to come out. Now you don't want to overcook them. They're going to look a little undone in the middle, in the center, but that's what you want because if you let them cook too long, they're going to get tough and dry. So take them out. We're going to put these in. For 12 more minutes on them. And there's our cookies. I'm going to let them cool on this tray for about 10 to 15 minutes. So about the time those are coming out, then I can take these off. So I'm just going to put these here. Let me get a mat and we'll let those cool for a little while and then we'll take them off and I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back. I let these cool for about five minutes. I'm not gonna go 10 to 15. I mean, I'm looking at them now and they're nice and set. So I'm just gonna pull them off the tray. Actually, they're real soft, so I shouldn't have trouble getting them off. And just put them on the cooling rack and let them cool. They smell delicious. It smells like butter pecan ice cream in here. I do smell a little bit of the whiskey. But like I said, that's totally optional. You don't have to put that in if you don't want to. I'm going to get these off, let the tray cool. I always tell everyone, make sure your tray is cool when you put the next batch of dough on here. If it's hot, 
they'll automatically start melting and you'll get a bigger cookie. I like the cookies with some of these like this, so they just, they stay nice and formed. And if you'd like any more of my cookie recipes for Christmas, you can go over to my website, gregs-kitchen.com. I'm also on Pinterest, Facebook. I actually have a Facebook group that you can join there. I'll put a link down below to that. It's all about um, canning, cooking, um, gardening, things like that. Anything you want to have, it's a nice safe place to talk to everybody on there. And I'm on Instagram if I didn't notice or mention that. Make sure you do hit the like button if you're liking our videos and make sure you hit the subscribe so you'll be updated every time I get a new video out. I'll be back as soon as I get these others out and I'll see you real soon. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I've got the third tray getting ready to go in. It looks like I've got enough of the cookie dough to make about 48 cookies of this size. This one's just about ready to ding on us. Let me pull them out. We'll slide in these that I already got done. And putting our 12 minutes on the clock. Make sure you check your oven. I've just found that my oven takes about 12 minutes to bake these. Set your oven maybe for eight minutes and check them to make sure they're not browning too much. You may need a few more minutes or you may need a few less. So everyone's oven's a little bit different. So you want to check that. You may notice there's two cookies missing. It's called quality assurance. I had to make sure they were good. So I'm going to show you. These are, these are totally cool and nice and moist. Nice and gooey in the center, cake-like. They taste delicious. If you put the whiskey in, I can taste a little bit of the whiskey on my tongue. It tastes like butter, butter pecan ice cream. You can taste the nuttiness of that brown butter that just adds to it. Give these a try, they're not real sweet. These are more, I call them an adult cookie because they're not real sweet for Christmas. Something you can serve if you have friends over or guests, family, that you want to have something just not real extra sweet. But these are my bourbon bacon butter pecan cookies. I'll put the list of ingredients down below. You're gonna to wanna to try those. I'll also put on my website, gregs-kitchen.com, where you can print out the recipe if you'd like. I wanna thank Jenny Goff for having me part of her 20, excuse me, this is good. Having me part of her Christmas in July. And make sure you go out to the other channels and check them out. We got Lori, Miss Lori from Whippoorwill Holler, In the Kitchen with Karen, Lisa at Sutton's Days. She did a great fudge the other day. You're gonna to to check that out. The Beals, Tuli Lou Creates, Prepper Potpourri, and Linda's Pantry. They've all got great recipes, great Christmas ideas, planning and tips. You're gonna to wanna to go to each one of their videos and you're going to wanna to put a comment because at the end of the month, Jenny's gonna pick one of the dates, the Monday through Friday, each day this month, and that video, she's going to use the random comment picker and she's going to be giving away a prize, at the, a giveaway at the end of the month. So if you don't comment and you don't subscribe, you're not going to have the ability to get that, but you're going to want to go and watch all these other channels and you're going to want to subscribe to them so you get all their great content. Again, thank you, Jenny, for having me part of your Christmas in July. You guys try my bourbon bacon butter pecan cookies and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.